28. Got it. And you're 1000% sure you packed all the stuff I need? Cameras, poison, extra ammo, stun grenades. If I die, I will literally haunt you for the rest of your life, Mike. I won't die. I have been in this game for, for the past four years. I'm not getting cocky. I just don't see why this mission would be any different from the other shit I've done. I mean, I've literally murdered a politician that one time. It was so, so difficult getting out of that one. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm talking way too much. So, this woman, what exactly does she... Seriously, Mike? You can't even tell me her role in this crisis? Uh, you're too distracted to get on with your mission, blah blah blah. Shut the fuck up, Mike. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Mask on. I just gotta reload my pistol. Hmm. This is a really nice hotel room. <laughs> I should rent a room just so Babe and I could have some real fun. I haven't been showing her enough compassion lately. I didn't think her job would be so physically training for her, too. I thought it was only doctors who had to suffer long hours. But <laughs> biomedical scientists. <sighs> when was the last time we've even been on a date? Shit, even had a dialogue. <sighs> Unless she's cheating. Nah. Why the fuck would I even think that? Alright, time for the waiting game. In this closet. Are you tired, sweetheart? Hey, don't make a sound. If you scream, then I have no choice but to end you early. We wouldn't exactly want that now, would we? Who am I? The guy who's been assigned to kill you. I know you have the back of your head towards me, and it's pretty dark in this room. But I just want to let you know that I'm pretty good looking. I'm not a cold hearted, brute looking dick. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I haven't been given too much information about who you are exactly and what parts of the drug crisis you played a significant role for. But for them to hire someone like me to kill you, it makes it seem that you are pretty fucking dangerous. <sighs> you didn't do anything wrong. Oh, baby girl. You must be messed in the fucking head. Anyone, and I mean anyone, involved with that drug is evil. OK, 
okay, I've, I've seen what kind of things it did. I had, I had too many, too many screams in the hospital, crying, dying, and you'll tell me your side of the story. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Your voice is strangely familiar. Likewise, baby. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? No, 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 no. No, why? 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 Why is this, why is this happening? Why is this happening? No, 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 no. Don't just fucking stare at me. Oh, oh, oh. Does it hurt? Does it hurt when I pin you against a fucking bed like this? I hope it fucking does. I hope it fucking does. I hope it... Why? 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 Let you explain? I don't know if I can handle gaslighting, baby. 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 <laughs> baby. I'm still calling you that. Fuck me. Fuck me. I'm gonna let go of you, but I swear to God, if you even think about moving a single muscle. I need a moment to think. Just, just stay there. Shut up. I'm the one talking. Okay. All that talk of you being a scientist and working as a researcher for a biopharmaceutical, was that all just a lie? No. You did work there. Then... Then... What the hell happened? Did you just suddenly want to join that bioterrorist organization? Wait, wait, don't, don't tell me. You, you were, you made that thing. Why, why, why are you not responding? Answer the question. Were you, or were you not, part of discovering that drug. <laughs> it isn't what I think, huh? My girlfriend of 10 years is secretly a fucking psychopath. <laughs> what the hell do I do, baby? What the hell do I do? You weren't involved. Then why didn't you... Then why didn't you just say that? I would have... I would have just fucking killed you. Right then and there. Your research. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Tell me about your research then. Yeah. The drug is some kind of inhibitor on your brain cells. 
you were synthesizing something different. A possible treatment for Alzheimer's. Okay, okay. So, in a nutshell, one part of your experiment included the inhibition of specific proteins. And those fucks used it for their big plan. Wait, wait. That doesn't make sense, huh? How do they even gain... Someone in the inner circle of the professor leaks it. And now they're framing you and your professor? <laughs> Baby. If all this was happening, why didn't you tell me anything? I would have helped you. No one would be coming for you if I was by your side. R r right. About that. I've kind of been a... How do I put this? Undercover agent. Okay, no, I kill people. Well, we're shifting from the main topic, though. We can talk about all that stuff later. Okay? Yeah, yeah, alright. I got a lot of explaining to do myself. You're right. I guess we're both guilty. So, to sum up. Those people used you. The drug is under your and your professor's name, and you're both being hunted down. Hey, 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 hey. Don't be scared. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, what the hell? No one, no one is gonna hurt you. Come here. Are you lying to me? <laughs> because if you are, I don't think I can get myself to kill you. You're the only thing in this world that makes me feel happy and loved. I've always had to play Lone Wolf. <laughs> What's the plan? I don't think I'm in a healthy mindset to strategize right now. Well, the plan is to deal with this mess. Mike probably thinks you're guilty, which is probably why he didn't tell me who you really were. I'll confront him about that, but the main thing to do is one, clear your name, and two, capture those motherfuckers. Where? Going on an adventure, baby. <laughs>